Hello, my name is Marcus Garcia Bernaville, and today we'll be talking about John D. Rockefeller and his life as a CEO and founder of the Standard Oil Company. In today's program, we'll be talking about how Rockefeller started the Standard Oil Company, the business tactics employed by him in order to make the business company successful, how the Standard Oil Company took control of virtually 90% of the oil market, and how Standard Oil Company influenced the country as a whole and how the government tried to stop Standard Oil from becoming too corrupt and taking over other markets. Ladies and gentlemen, John D. Rockefeller and the Standard Oil Company. John D. Rockefeller founded the Standard Oil Company in 1870 in Cleveland, Ohio during the Second Industrial Revolution. With the news that there's oil in Pennsylvania, a lot of people started to go into the oil industry and trying to make it big. Rockefeller found a way where he can better use all the byproducts of oil, thereby giving Standard Oil an upper hand. A lot of companies did not have this advancement, so they started to lose money and lose business. Rockefeller started to buy the neighboring transportation businesses such as railroads and carting services so that he can transport his oil cheaply and the other companies can't transport their oil, so they close down. As Rockefeller started to make a lot of money, he started to buy out the neighboring oil industries and by 1879, Rockefeller had controlled 90% of the oil industry. John Rockefeller had a strong belief that if too many independent companies operated, then the industry would not grow up and thrive to its success. Uh, that is the reason why he developed a business plan which was aimed to conquer as well as monopolize uh, the industry which would expand the Standard Oil Company by purchasing all of the other competing companies and firms. Henry Flagler and some other Cleveland banks uh, supported his plan as well. Uh, the Standard Oil Company um, operated almost 90% of the oil industry nationally and about 70% internationally by 1879. By creating the Standard Oil Trust, uh, Rockefeller actually devised a document that would link all of the oil companies that were associated with the production, processing, uh, marketing, and transportation to one single organization. Uh, this made him be able to sustain a complete monopoly uh, over the whole industry. Some of the most important uh, business tactics Rockefeller had was understanding where the risks um, and uncertainties lied in the oil industry, and then he knew exactly what to do to take over the whole industry. Rockefeller and Standard Oil had a tremendous impact on the economy. Rockefeller was able to control the cost of other companies' products through his ruthless tactics. This negatively affected unemployment and helped to create an increasingly wider gap between the richer and the poorer. By the 1800s, Standard Oil controlled 90% of the refineries and operation in the United States. Although there were many negative effects that came along with Standard Oil, like unemployment and businesses closing their door, there were also positive impacts. Um, his company developed many innovations and brought standardized brought a standardized product to the market. Because of the Standard Oil Monopoly, the government created the Anti-Sherman Act, which outlawed monopolistic business practices. This act is used today as a benchmark in which companies can be measured and regulated so that they are not able to affect the public in a negative manner. Due to the success of Standard Oil, there was a huge social impact within America. Many people were left unemployed and also angry because of the elimination of competition and also there was many other people who were affected because of the increased costs and the lack of service that came with the elimination of competition. In 1882, when the company reorganized itself into a trust, it controlled 95% of the refining capacity in America. Now, there was many people who attacked this trust, such as farmer organizations, labor unions, politicians, journalists, but even though after many antitrust laws were passed, the company uh, still evaded closure. There was this one journalist in particular who pressed on, her name was Vita Tarbell, and she wrote 19 detailed articles that explained the illegal business tactics of Rockefeller. 
and the government took this into consideration. They investigated further into the Standard Oil Trust, which resulted in the lawsuit named the Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890. Even though he was a very hated man, Rockefeller did do some good in his life. He eventually gave $540 million within his lifetime to charity. After John D. Rockefeller created the Standard Oil Company and completely monopolized the oil industry, capturing 90% of the national market and 70% of the international oil market, John D. Rockefeller was forced to dissolve the Standard Oil Trust. The Standard Oil Trust was a, was a trust linking all the major oil companies and firms specializing in marketing, production, transportation and processing of all oil byproducts, mainly kerosene and lubricant products. John D. Rockefeller was forced to dissolve this trust by the government. The government enforced an act called the Sherman Antitrust Act, which did not allow any company to complete complete monopolies over any one industry or market. After the act was put in place, the Standard Oil Trust was now dissolved. The government began implementing price floors and ceilings and there were now numerous companies which created competition, a more fair market for consumers and more jobs for the American people.